In this video, I'm going to show you why it's important to have good cabling and also look at video you're getting from your existing recorder to make sure from your existing cameras to make sure that there are no lines in that video. So this video serves as a, an example of what not to do uh, and what to uh, look for when you have a coax based camera system. So on this particular system here, um, you can see that some of these cameras have lines going through the video. And these lines are caused by voltage injection, distortion, grounding issues. So they're also they can they can be exhibited in different manners and forms. Um, they don't have to be this wavy kind of one type of pattern. I can see it in another channel here. So what this is happening is there's either, either a grounding problem or there's some sort of um, uh, voltage injection happening from one of the cameras. And what's peculiar in this case is I'm going to actually sync the playback from these. Watch the weather. As the weather gets wetter outside, um, in some cases, what will happen is your DVR may just stop working or stop recording. So in this case here, the feed uh, shows here from the outside that it started getting moist outside. And then all of a sudden, depending on how fine of an eye you have, you can see this is actually getting even more worse. And um, this just signals that there's bad cabling there somewhere that's causing this to happen. And then what eventually happens, like I'm going to go back and look at this channel, the camera just stops recording. Uh, or the camera stops working and the DVR doesn't record any video from it. So this is around 7.33 p.m. that day. This one uh, has no record on it as well. So I'm just going to go through them. You see this one comes back on for just a second here no video this one also went out so so these two cameras here channels four and five have a lot of distortion happening so this sort of stuff happening on a dvr will cause it to reboot and malfunction and eventually even damage the ports inside of it i'm going to try and go here to see if there's any video in an attempt to see if there is anything particular that I can sometimes you can see telltale other telltale signs of uh, voltage injection stuff happening it might be there's no video there that's uh, possibly even recorded there but um, if you have a situation like this where all of a sudden your DVR keeps rebooting and you have lines through your video, that's just a sign that you're getting uh, some sort of feedback voltage or other grounding issues which will eventually disrupt a low voltage electronics such as a DVR. So you want to address them by disconnecting those cameras and redoing that cable. Failing to do so will ultimately only damage your DVR and uh, it's possible that those ports may not work again if you keep doing this over um, a long time span. It could be even short. It just depends the amount of voltage that's coming back. And in this case, it happened to be that a moist environment um, is triggering this. And then once it, there's enough uh, damage done to a DVR, it will eventually quit working uh, on totally or specific channels. Some DVRs have encoder chips that are separate that handle each uh, for a group of ports uh, that are allocated as fours or it could be even eight. So you want to take care of these things and make sure they're addressed before your DVR uh, malfunctions or ceases to function. So here I'm showing the logs from that day when that DVR I just showed you stopped recording. If we go back to around the time that video loss occurred, you'll notice that it says that there was an abnormal reboot right here. This was around the time when the video just got stopped recording on those channels that I'm talking about. If you look at prior to that time, everything was working fine. You know, user log user login and user log out are normal. Tampering is not. That's just a sign of something uh, going awry with this camera. Tampering usually is in a, um, 
algorithm on the DVR that happens when it feels like somebody's covering up the camera. So I'm going to go back to look at channel 13 at 1420 on April 8th. So I'm going to go back here quickly and play back channel 13 on April 8th. And I believe it was 1420. Not much going on there besides this person over there, so I'm going to leave that alone. Um, so if the camera is being covered, just for privacy reasons, I'm not going to show that. But the, if the camera is being covered by someone, then it'll show a tampering error, or it may even occur occur if there is some sort of weird stuff going on with the camera due to voltage injection or just a bad line. Otherwise, everything else is fine with the DVR, and then before that, there was video loss. These sort of errors are not normal, and when you have them consistently, that means there's something going on with power to the DVR. Either the DVR is not powered correctly, or two, you have voltage coming in through the lines into the DVR. Namely, it's through the BNC connections, and we see that frequently, and when customers do not understand that that's a possibility and do not redo a new cable, they will ultimately damage their DVR. So. Here in this case, when the cameras got knocked out at um, 1937 or so, there was an abnormal reboot. And this error code of 001 is associated with a power abnormality. And it's one of the hardest to troubleshoot unless you redo the cabling uh, or bench test the DVR for a week, a week at a time or two weeks at a time with just a, sm a single camera attached to it. And then here, um, I see another reboot happening for protection reboot. This happens again when there's a uh, the DVR sensor, there's something related to power that's happening. So these two are telltale signs that you've got something going on with your hardware, your cable, that's causing um, issues to come in. You can go take a, a simple BNC video tester, a cable tester to try and troubleshoot it, but that's the wrong way because it's not going to tell you if there's a voltage come in. It's going to tell you it's working because it itself sends voltage from one end of the line to the other. So that's not going to tell you what's happening. You have to actually go around inspecting the cable for nicks, and that's one of the hardest things to do, especially if you've got old cabling and you just kind of leave it alone in there. Uh, rodents might chew it up, and over time it'll cause a lot of issues. So there's no way to resolve this issue without redoing your cable if it's a BNC system.